What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you some initial details for New Arc Line, an upcoming steampunk meets magic CRPG due out sometime in 2024, and while I have mentioned it in passing here and there, a recently released story trailer, which is most of the footage you'll be seeing in this particular video alongside a host of other details, made for a great opportunity to sit down and talk about it a little more specifically and what you might expect from it. Now, in some ways, I think you might know more or less what to expect from New Arc Line simply by looking at it, with its steampunk meets magic-based approach clearly being inspired by something like Arcanum previously, which I and many other people really loved. But something I thought was interesting is that the new story trailer was actually dropped alongside a Lovecraftian-themed sale over on Steam just the past couple of days ago, and watching the story trailer makes that pretty apparent as to why. A lot of almost body horror elements a lot of surprisingly horror-themed-esque monsters, etc. Highlighting, of course, the seedy underbelly underneath the art deco approach to basically everything else. Now, with that out of the way, let's actually dive into this and talk a little bit about specifics. So, New Arc Line is going to be an isometric CRPG, which brings with it classic turn-based battles, a party to take alongside you, learning more about them as you go, on top of making a variety of different choices that affect the outcome as well as your playtime with the game, ultimately deciding the fate of everyone in the city. But what is that city? What are we doing? And who are we? Well, the city itself is called New Ark, a bastion of progress and hope for a lot of people out in the, let's say, less advanced areas of the world. Our character is going to be coming there in search of a cure for a fatal family disease. The trailer mentions something by the name of Iron Plague in particular, so I'm not sure if that is the disease or if it's loosely related in some way or just a broader happening, but probably worth knowing. As the story trailer describes people fleeing to the city to avoid this Iron Plague. There will be a proper character creation, though, and it's going to see you picking things like a background, your appearance, things you'd probably expect from a game of this nature, though it is worth mentioning that apparently the playable races will be humans, elves, dwarves, or giants, which I thought was particularly interesting, but they also remind everyone that it's important to keep in mind that people have their prejudices against certain races or types of people, and you will be treated accordingly to your choices and character creation on their own. It doesn't stop there, though. Ultimately, you'll be able to choose between six different classes to play the game as, each of which seems to come with two subclasses, making for a total of 12 subclasses, and most of those variations seem to pit you somewhere along the spectrum of arcane magic or steampunk technology. A few examples they give are a Hellfire Occultist, a Celestial Sage, a Steampunk Mechanic, a Diesel Punk Engineer, or even a Tesla Punk Scientist. So it looks like there's going to be a good bit of variety there, but those are likely the themes you're looking at. It won't be just you, however. There will be a variety of companions accompanying us, and while we don't have a full list, they are described as people that will grow and face their own challenges alongside you, and if I had to guess, will likely represent some of the factions that we'll be running into. Though they do note that these companions, or at least some of them, will all also be romanceable, so that's something you can expect. And then we got confirmation of a few other systems. Now, we will have turn-based battles. It looks like they're going the completely turn-based route, and that'll likely come with the skills and abilities you would expect it to, though they do also make mention of a crafting system that will presumably allow you to make things that will affect combat as well. And just generally speaking, some of the uh, monsters that they've shown off in various marketing material does look pretty solid. So I think it'll certainly be a visually interesting game, but how the combat actually feels and what the system at play in terms of like action points or just base actions in general has yet to be seen, but it seems so far more or less what I would have expected. And pulling all of that information we just went over together, I would say certainly makes for a game that has my interest at the very least, and it's definitely something I'm looking forward to and I hope sincerely that it releases in 2024 and doesn't get delayed, as this looks like an especially interesting title. As someone who has very often expressed a desire for something in the vein of Arcanum, I think this has the potential to fill that space, and everything I've seen of this title looks especially promising. 
Moving forward, I hope they share more details about the companions, the factions we'll be able to align ourselves with, which they only kind of make brief mention of, alongside, of course, more dedicated gameplay stuff. But thus far, I think this looks awesome, and I'm excited to see if they can pull it off, which hopefully we won't have to wait too long for. That, though, is pretty much going to do it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed this little look into the upcoming title, New Arc Line. If you did, or you're excited for more coverage of this game, do stick around. I will certainly be doing more of that, as I said, quite excited for this one, which of course means to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, but regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.